A modulation is a change of key that is confirmed by a cadence. For example, if a passage begins in the key of G major and ends with a cadence in the key of D major, we say that the music has modulated. So how does a modulation come about? In composition, we often use a pivot chord to transition between keys. A pivot chord is a chord that is shared by both the home key and the destination key. Here's a list of diatonic triads in C major and G major, two keys that share four triads in common. All of these shared chords act as potential portals from one key to another, and it's up to the composer to decide which portal to enter. In the following progression, the second C major triad functions as a pivot chord, acting simultaneously as one six of the home key and four six of the destination key. Once this portal has been entered, the rest of the progression continues in the new key. The simplest modulations occur between closely related keys, which share a large number of triads in common. Closely related keys have key signatures that differ by no more than one sharp or flat. The key of C major, for instance, differs by one sharp from G major and E minor, and one flat from F major and D minor. It also shares a key signature with A minor. By definition, every key has five closely related keys. Here's a second example of a modulation, this time from C major to the closely related key of E minor. Pivot chords can also be used to facilitate more distant modulations, as in this example that modulates from C major to B flat major, which is not one of C major's five closely related keys. Even more distant modulations can be achieved using chromatic chords, common tones, and enharmonicism. But that's a story for another time.